And believe it or not, the Super Bowl wasn't the only action today in our Bear Nation report. The Missouri State Super Lady Bears took to the hardwood. Color 10's Matt Verena has highlights from JQH Arena. Dan, coming off an absolutely dominant win over Bradley, the Missouri State Lady Bears were hoping to carry momentum today into a matchup with the Illinois State Redbirds, a game that would close out the first half of the Valley Conference season. Lady Bears feeding off a crowd that probably had more Illinois State Red than MSU would like, though I'm pretty certain most of them were still pulling for the Lady Bears. And Maya Benhar gave that crowd a show early. Halfway through the first, the sophomore pulls up and connects from three. Then just a minute later, Benhar again from distance, putting the Lady Bears up 16-13. And then on the ensuing possession, she comes up with the steal and the finish on the other side. A quick eight points for her. Missouri State up 23-16 after one. Second quarter, they keep up momentum. Jasmine Franklin fighting on the ground for a loose ball and somehow finds an open Alexa Willard who drops through the triple. Lady Bears in command at halftime 45-33. Third quarter though, the Redbirds stage a rally. Mary Crompton's three, part of a 23-17 Redbird quarter to pull them within one. But in the fourth, the Lady Bears regain control. Jasmine Franklin with the bucket and the foul for a nine point lead. And less than a minute later, Bryce Caleb says the bank is open on Sundays. A three for the junior puts it on ice as Missouri State tops Illinois State 87 to 74. Honestly, it felt like just like a really fun game. Like at times, even when they came back, it just felt like we had the game under control. And those games are like really fun to play in because you never feel like tension or you're like, oh, okay, they're coming back. I mean, I just like how we shared the ball. I mean, we had 22 assists. We had people that had like career nights. I mean, Abby had double double. Bryce had 15 points, eight assists, and no turnovers, and about four or five rebounds. We had five people in double figures. I mean, it was really a team win, and I'm just really proud of how we came out and how we just prevailed through all the ups and downs of the game. And it was more than just a win for the Lady Bears today. It came paired with another Bradley loss. They lost to SIU, meaning Missouri State is once again alone atop of the Valley Conference, headed into the second half of Valley play. From JQH Arena, I'm Matt Vereen, Ozarks First.